Hello, KDE Plasma is a Linux desktop environment that, that by default is really easily customizable by, by, by the graphical interface without having to install anything else and that's great so I'll try to show how I would customize the panels here how, how I would turn it into a dock but of course this is just what I would do so in, anyways, to, to customize the panels, you, you would, would have to right click and enter the edit mode. I would, I would like to have one panel up here at the top for like the system, the icons and the information. I can grab from right here and like, like just like drag it up. The, this is for changing the height of the panel, the size of it. And up up here, I I wouldn't want the application icons. Yeah, here is the spacer that kind of like separates the e elements. You can drag each element around. Here, add widgets. Here are like all the elements you, you can add to widgets and even just somewhere to your desktop. Now I would use a global menu. This is like the application me menu, like file and edit and view, but show shows up uh, on on the panel I in instead of on the application. The this displays a currently focused window, and let's uh, select between them. So I'm trying to find something where where I can switch between virtual desktops. Is this the one? There is this widget to switch between workspace says, but first you have to have multiple f of them in order in order for for the switcher to be visible, for for there to be anything. For each widget, you you can configure them. But I would like the time and date to be beside each other, f so on a horizontal panel this would be more legible. I could also add another sp uh, spacer and bring the clock to the center. Now for the bottom dock, this will have the applications. So add a panel. You can add a default one and one that's just empty, no widgets and one with applications. No wait, the application one is just a global menu. Let's let's forget about that so remove the panel let let's add a an empty one so i'll increase the size add widgets i would add the application icons the default launcher so i'll go to edit mode and if it's a dock you probably would like to have it centered it can go below the windows so if a window overlaps it, the window will cover it, uh, but you can use your mouse to like bring the dock back. I will have it translucent. Now this floating panel, this like uh, pops it out, gives it like little rounded corners. In this like dark gray bar, you have these arrows. You can use to, s to set the size. What, what I used to do is also ha have the have the spacers here and I would drag it to the center well it kind of looks like a dock but there's just like this empty space on the bar now I just recently learned uh, how to get rid of this empty space and and have, uh, have the bar expand and like stretch along along with with what's on it one set of these arrows is for the maximum size and one of them is for the minimum size. The bottom one here is for the minimum size. You can just reduce it to the minimum amount. Remove the spacers and now you can see the, the bar is as short as the amount of icons that are, uh, that are on here. I will just open something that isn't here. And you can see the the bar expands as more icons appear there, and as, as I close them, it, it becomes smaller, 
we've always had empty space there, so that that's nice. One small thing is well, it technically has rounded corners, but but the corners are pretty small. If you would like to have more rounded corners, like how it looks, just like like a pill, m perhaps. I don't yet know how to do that. One thing you could do is download a customizable dock called Latte. This one's really customizable. You can also set like the offset, the theme, uh, and the corners and and what not. But in this video, I I'm I'm showing you how how to do that without installing anything extra. Maybe also have the top bar popped out a bit. When you go to configure a widget, you can also check out its alternatives. Maybe you, you want to have description along with the icon, but for me may maybe not, maybe not this time. I'll just go and switch it back. Maybe you would also have, like to have a full screen launcher, like that. And, and of course you can, you can also configure the widgets like on, on the clock. You can, you can choose to display the seconds also. See how the time is displayed. This is the global menu. There's also this options about the applications right here on the panel instead of on the application window that's what i actually like I, I, if you like would put a window against it you, the panel just fills the offset area here this is a, a little interesting animation you can see it, it's all filled here i can bring out the dock like that by hovering over it o other otherwise i can just l look at what the application has and of course you can also uh, right, right click and, and on the desktop and check out its wallpapers. The global app menu does not I integrate with every app, but it's a nice to have when I when I can. I probably do not need duplicate uh, application launchers. On, on the system tray icons, here you can choose w which one of them is displayed right, right here. You can do that it's always shown, it, that it's shown when necessary. You can also select that, uh, that it's hi hidden. Here you, you, can, you can see the hidden options. Let's make the dock a bit bigger. I can also have the widgets right here on the desktop somewhere. It is an option. There are plenty of widgets here. There is also uh, this puzzle game. Like he here is... Okay. You can add a file viewer right here on your desktop. This is a small video ab about how, how I would customize the KDE desktop environment uh, w without installing anything extra, like, like any third-party utilities. Well, so, um, uh, see you next time.